Great January 7th. Hope you had a wonderful Tuesday in the Lord. We are in both uh, Psalms 37 and because today is January 7th, we're in Proverbs 7. have no idea what the Lord spoke to Timotheus. I know he put some stuff in my heart, so I'm going to pass it to him. Uh, <clears throat> in Proverbs 7 verse 2, keep my commandments and live in my law as the apple of thy eye. Uh, the scripture it it doesn't say you live for like no reason so you can you can uh be you can keep your life um like it aligned with the values that god expects of you and you can also like live a good life like you don't have to be like i don't know I, I guess everybody thinks you have to be like a nun or something to enjoy your life or whatever, but that's or to be to be a Christian or like a, a believer, but that's not the case. Like you can still enjoy yourself. You can you can do a lot of stuff, but you don't have to like do stuff that the the that the world says is fun. Like I don't know, you you, you can be a Christian and live uh, a wholesome and, and a happy life. And a fulfilled I feel like, and if anything, it's more fulfilling. Come on now, you better okay. be an example to your generation. And that's funny. <laughs> this has been in my heart all day, probably the last two days, as far as the state of our young people, like the state of the union that the president gives a speech or the governor or what have you. State of our young people. Yeah, they're 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 doing well. I mean, they have a lot of technical logical advances and a lot of ambition but at the same time i work in a school and seeing what's in the news and that's the exception i know that is but i am concerned and i was telling my son as far as the literacy level and the uh, math levels that uh, some of our young people have uh, attained colored no, no, I'm saying all races. Yeah. What I'm saying is I see why a lot of them are distracted and lose hope when they don't get the foundation of fundamental skills. And then, like I said, when they're in eighth grade and they can't hardly read and then go to high school and they're lost, but we're graduating them. Okay, that's a different issue. So what's in my heart? Proverbs 7, 7. I discerned among the youths, a young man, a young woman, void of understanding. They don't have wisdom or maybe the knowledge or or even a concept of a lot of them what's right or wrong because, you know, a lot of them don't go to Sunday school. A lot of them don't have the moral, you know, teaching. A lot of them, you know, it's just a lot going on. And it's, it's much more complex than just a simple a problem. And then hearing, you know, all this that's going on in the Chicagoland area. Now, but this is really making news because it's in the millionaire area, right? Streeterville and Gold Coast, you know, how they're getting out the car and just knocking people out and then taking their valuables broad day. Crazy. Well, what I will say is 22 through 27 of Proverbs 7, talking about how without the insight, they just go on and follow after foolishness. It says uh, they yield to, you know, people who have forced them into crazy situations and they have been cast down, wounded. Many strong men have been slain. They use a personification of a female, but slain by foolishness and craziness. So what are we to do? In Psalms 37, we are to, the, the saints of God are to do good, right? Trust in the Lord, do good. Thou shalt dwell in the land, live in the city, in the country, wherever, and verily thou shalt be fed. That's the promise of the Lord. And of course, we're to commit our way to the Lord, trust also in him, and he'll bring it to pass. What spoke to you in Psalms 37? Um, yes, uh, well, verse... Two, I believe. Verse one, actually. Fret not thyself because of evildoers, neither be envious against the workers of iniquity. So there is a lot of craziness going on, especially Chicago. Well, it's probably other places. All over. We just hear about it. Yeah. Somewhere. And um, you can't. I mean, you should. You should be. You should be uh, cautious, but you shouldn't be like worried or scared mm -hmm. at all. Mm -hmm. Especially if like you're living right, you shouldn't be scared. Hallelujah. You should um. 
you should always be um like wise about decision yeah. where you go stuff like yes. that but you should never like walk in fear yes yeah yeah Just because fear. the promise is in verse 25 i have been young and now i'm old but i have not seen the righteous forsaken nor her seed her child begging or evil befall he god is ever merciful and then we're merciful and lendeth and my seed, her seed shall be blessed. So let's still live righteously. And the promise is that God will take care of our seed and our children and ourselves. Enjoy the blessings of the Lord. Good night.